This was a kind of a weed patch, an unused property, two old gullies that used to wash out people's backyards on one side and where the cross country teams used to run around through <laughs> from the athletic department. And it was just nothing but weeds and uh, it was a dumping ground also. The Nature Center 40 years ago was an abandoned gully that was actually utilized quite a bit as a dumping ground. We're still digging up old asphalt pieces when we want to plant this area. Uh, thanks to the vision of the science department at Newport Harbor High School, teachers like Robert House and others that saw this parcel of land that could become an outdoor classroom for their students. And so it was my idea to create uh, a natural area of native plants to California depicting the many plant communities that we have. I know of nowhere else where you can be in the desert one minute, looking at the adaptations of the plants, feeling the heat and warmth of that plant community, and then the next minute you're walking along a stream and ponds, the plants change, the temperature changes, you can see the adaptations before you, and the next minute you're in a redwood forest representative of the tallest trees in the world, the temperature drops even more. You can just feel that you're, you're in a different place. And that experience for the students that come here, I don't think can be found anywhere else. 
reasons why I was really excited about working at the Nature Center almost a decade ago was because I knew that this would be an awesome place to give people who lived in an urban area the chance to experience a little gem of wildlife in the middle of a city. And if they were able to come to a place like this, then they might feel a little bit more comfortable going to a wilderness area, even some place like Crystal Cove State Park or Laguna Canyon. We grew from a trailer to hiring a whole bunch of really talented staff and teaching all of these school programs, over 10,000 kids a year in school programs, an additional 5,000 plus kids coming for after school programs like scout programs. Uh, and, you know, the, the amount of growth that I've seen since I've been here has just floored me especially with the new building and having the new building as a resource for people really draws people in as well. One of the things that people get to learn when they come here is how important native plants are to the habitat and to the people who get to walk past them when they're going for a hike or a jog or a bike ride in nature. Um, if we didn't have these native plants, we wouldn't have a habitat for animals. There wouldn't be pollination going on. The birds would have nowhere to nest. The animals would have nowhere to live. And once one thing in the food chain is missing, everything else is affected. It all starts with the plants. If they come to appreciate places like that and then places like that become threatened, then I think they're more likely to try to help protect them once that becomes an issue. So a place like this is the starting point for um, a long-term conservation ethic for a lot of people who visit. Social science programs are, are known throughout Southern California as, as some of the best programs on the, the Native American um, culture and ways of life. And when they come back talking about it, it's like this is the greatest trip they've ever been on. And they start talking about the Native American and how they lived and said, wow, was it been really like that? And how could you live without video games? So it is quite an experience for the students. No matter where I am, I find people coming up to me and saying how wonderful the staff was during a particular program. The staff here is impeccable. I'm coming back here for like it's our fourth year and the knowledge that they have and the way you entertain the students and bring them back and set the time schedule for them, it's just incredible having them show the hands-on tools, the tools that the actual Native Americans use, just in their knowledge, information, and their demeanor of the staff is wonderful. One of the programs we've had going on here for well over 30 years is our summer nature camp and it's literally my most favorite time of year to come to work. This camp has taught me many new things and has taught me how important recycling is and how um, keeping our environment, environmental nature centers, like how precious they are and how lucky we're to have animals and plants grow here. I love seeing the kids having a good time while they're learning and not even really knowing that they're learning. I love working with the camp teachers. They're my favorite people in the world. And I love getting up in front of crowds of people and singing to their songs.